Hello everyone, welcome back, Severs here, coming back with part 9 of What If Deku Was a Ghost. Now, where we last left off, Izuku managed to return from the ghost zone with the help of his enemy artist after Walker captures him and throw him in prison. Regardless of which, now before we get right into it, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's just get right into it. As right now, it's been, well, two weeks since that incident. Remember, this is happening in the time between the, well, the USJ and the sport festival. So, right now, it is the sport festival. And right now, Midoriya is just standing with Mei Hatsume, just waiting for the sport festival to start. Remember, since Midoriya is from the support course, he is allowed to bring up with him any gadgets he wants, as long as he is the one that made them by himself. And he and Mei made a lot of gadgets. Regardless of which, Mei is right now standing saying, <laughs> This will be exciting. I'm excited to show my babies. What about you, Midori? What did you bring? As Izuku said, eh, Just a couple of, you know, smoke, grenades, and flash bombs. As Mei said, Just that? That's all what you made? As Izuku said, Yeah, I'm not really sure about this whole sport festival thing. I don't feel like I, you know, want to play or, you know, Try out. As Mei said, What? Don't you and I like when? As Izuku said, eh, Not really. As Mei said, Or oh, what? Are you gonna use your little ghostly powers? As Izuku said, Don't say that out loud. Mei, you gotta kill me. As she said, Well, whatever you do. <clears throat> I don't care about winning. I just wanna show out my babies. As Izuku said, Uh huh. Sure. As Izuku just standing, thinking to himself, saying, Although May is right, it's been a long time since I actually did anything beside ghost hunting. I should focus more on my studies and to be. Uh, man. Well, when this whole thing is just gonna start, I'll just gonna stand at the sidelines and as suddenly Izuku hearing a voice saying, Oi, Daku! As Izuku said, huh? As he see Baku, and Baku said, So, you're gonna... <clears throat> you're gonna play this game, or what? As Izuku said, I, Are you talking about the sport festival? As Baku said, Yeah, of course. As Midoriya said, Um, not really. I don't feel like I should, you know. As Baku said, Ah, uh, why? Because you don't have a quirk? Good. Stay out of this. You would only get yourself hurt. Nerd. <laughs> as Bug just walking away. As immediately when Izuku heard that, he said, Why, you little... As Mei said, So, Midoriya, as Izuku said, That's it, I'm beating his ass. As immediately Mei said, Uh, what's wrong? As Izuku said, He's wrong. I'm gonna take that goddamn stupid spark out of his face. I'm tired of being... I'll show him. As Mei said, uh, calm down a bit. You know that you don't have a... As Izuku said, my ghostly power will make him go back to his mother crying. As Mei said, shh, don't say that. As immediately, Izuku's voice was covered by pressing mic voice saying, All right, everybody, it's the Spart Festival, so prepare for the first match. And it shall be the obstacles race as he starts explaining and then he said all right everyone get ready three two one go as after that everybody starts running like crazy and for the little race it happens roughly the same thing that it happens in normal in the normal anime midori didn't use any of his ghostly tricks which in the end just the same thing happened, he got that little piece from one of the robots, did that plan of putting all the <laughs> landmines together, and managed to win in first place. Which has surprised everybody, even Aizawa. This kid is not even from the hero course. As after that, when Izuku finally arrived at the end of the sport festival, President Mike said, And we have a winner! As immediately, he asked Aizawa if that was one of his students, but Aizawa said no, he's from the support course. 
As President Mike said, Ooh, it seems that this sports festival is gonna have some competition, would you? Would you just say? If one of the students of the support course can do something like that, who knows what the rest can do? I'm excited! Are you all folks? As immediately, Midnight starts explaining about the second part of the <clears throat> sports festival. Which is while she explaining, Baku's just looking at Midoriya dead in the eyes. While Izuku just. Well, look it away, he's not giving him any. Well, attention, you could say. As Mei said, Great job, Midoriya. As Izuku said, Yeah. Alright. Mei, will you be in my. As she is the one that offered him to be on his team. Because she wanted to be in the spotlight, uh, as always, and, sees he, and since he is in first place. <laughs> as Izuku said, Alright. Immediately, Izuku and Mei Hatsume, and also <laughs> two other students from the support course that are unread. You know, we don't care about those two. They are just side characters number, basically side character number twenty four and side character number seventy six. Regardless of which, after Izuku made his team with the seventy six and twenty four and May, <laughs> the cavalry battle is started. As everybody's going straight for Midoriya, especially Bakugo team, saying, I'm gonna show you that you stole the Quirkless Brat! Insolent, insignificant boy that you are, Deco! As immediately, everybody going to Midoriya, but since he's having, you know, little maze gadgets on him, he using the jetpack to fly with him and his team a bit away. After which he lands a bit far, which is Still, they trying to attack him. Eventually, Izuku, Izuku was forced to use one of his flat, well, smoke grenades as he used it and throw it into the ground. Immediately, his team ran out of the smoke while the rest of the people that are watching are surprised. And when the smoke clears, they see a couple of teams that were, well, fighting against each other by accident. After a while, Baku got stopped by... Monoma as usual and he start going after Monoma while Todoroki and his team are standing in front of Midoriya as Todoroki looking into Midoriya saying I don't know who you are but that 10 million points is mine as Izuku said then why don't you come here and get it as immediately Mr. Present Mike is saying, it see that the fight is getting even more exciting. Now we have Joto Todoroki and his team from the hero course against Izuka Midoriya from the support course. Who would take this 10 million headband? As immediately, Todoroki standing, waiting for the right moment while Ida offering a little trick of his, explaining that he has a plan to boost right in front of Midoriya as when Izuka heard that, he said, boost, as immediately Ida start powering up his engines. Before Izuku seeing this, May said, uh, Midoriya, what you do? As Izuku immediately pulls two, yeah, uh, well, smoke grenade and another flash one, immediately opening them up and throwing them into the ground. As Ida dashing into the smoke, the flashlight blinds everybody. As they see the smoke is just covering the whole area around Midoriya and Todoroki. Baku was about to enter the smoke, but present Mike said, It's over! Time's up! Everybody stop! As Baku fall into the ground, saying, What happened? As everyone is on the edge of their seats, everybody is quiet, waiting for the smoke to finally evaporate and disappear. And when they see that, they see Todoroki standing without any headbands, neither around his neck or head or even in his hand, but when he looked behind of him, he see Midori holding all his headbands, and suddenly he feels as if his world just shattering, as he can't say anything except how, as immediately Izuku jumped down saying, you know, just a smoke grenade and a flash one, I blinded you and managed to take them off off of you, read of, read of basically quickly. As right now, present Mike seeing this, he said, He did it! He actually did it! See, Zakamadoria of the support course managed to actually take down Shota Todoroki from the hero course! Oh man, this is exciting! Aren't you screaming, Aizawa? This is the fastest 
Man, this is like, I can't even bumble any words. This is absolutely amazing. What is this kid squirk? Anyway, as immediately Aizo just looking into his paper as well, as Mr. President Mike said, <laughs> Come on, Aizo, tell us, we need to know. I'm sure that everybody here in this stadium is, as Aizo said, he's corkless. As suddenly, Mr. President Mike glasses just fall off of his face, say, eh? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not sure that I heard that right. Maybe I was yelling too loud and you were just a bit too quiet. Can you repeat that into the mic in a much more clearer voice? As Aizo just leaning a bit down into the microphone as he said, Izuka Midoriya from the support course is quirkless. As that is just a shocking reveal to Doroki. Poor Todoroki is feeling as if he's just... He lost a Quirkless kid? As he's just feeling very disappointed in himself. Saying in his mind, I was supposed to win. How did I not win? How did I lose to him? While Bug is in the corner, he's one angry on Midoriya. But on the other hand, he's laughing at... To Doroki for losing for Midoriya from all people. <laughs> He's saying, seriously, Icy Hot, couldn't you find somebody better to lose against? I don't know, like me, for example. <laughs> As after he done laughing at Todoroki, Todoroki just jumped down off of his, well, friends saying, um, I apologize for not being able to pull out his headbands. As Ida said, don't worry, Todoroki, you couldn't see anything in that smoke. As regardless, the Doroki just walking away. After which, Bug just looking to Midoriya saying, You maybe got it lucky so far, but I'm gonna beat you myself, Deku. As Izuka said, uh, Sure, Bakugo. As Bug just walking away. And right now, May said, uh, Midoriya, what did you do? As Izuka said, Shh, nobody knows. Just sh shut up. As May said, You didn't. As Izuka said, if that Mel can have a chance to beat the living shit out of Bakugo, then I don't care. As after which, everybody taking a 10 minute rest. Which is... Midoriya just taking his time. But while he's going to the bathroom after talking with some of his uh, support course friend, he suddenly gets stopped by none other than the number two hero. Endeavor, as Izuka said, uh, uh, it, 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 that, as he said in his mind, Endeavor, what is he doing here? As Endeavor looking down at Midoriya saying, how did you do it? Did you cheat? As Izuka said, uh, what? As Endeavor said, I said, did you cheat? As Izuka said, no I didn't cheat. I'm from the support course, we're allowed to use gadgets. As immediately Endeavor just said that was... That wasn't what I meant. What did you do, boy? As Izuka said, I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. As he just walking away from Endeavor. While Endeavor said, What did he do? I'm sure that he did something, but... How could I see that in the smoke? Regardless, he's really disappointed in Shoto to losing into a quirkless person. Maybe he's wrong about the kid, after all. Maybe just Shoto was a bit slippery or a bit rusty since he didn't use his fire. But at the same time, he can't shake the feeling of this kid hiding something. Which, regardless, he goes to talk with Todoroki in the corner about uh, some things. As right now, he finally sees Todoroki as he said, Todoroki. Uh, I mean, Shoto. As he said, I'm not in it to talk to you, old man. As he said, what happened back there? How could you possibly lose to a quirkless boy? As he said, as if you care. I'm still not gonna use your fire, old man. So leave me alone. As he said, I know that you aren't trying to lose. You're trying to prove me wrong. That you would win without your using your fire, but see the results. Without my flames, you'll never be able to become a hero if you'll be... If you are going to be defeated by a quirkless child, as Todoroki said, Whatever, I'm never using your flames, Endeavor. As he just walking away. 
And right now, yeah, all Izuku's well support core students are basically hyping him up, saying that he's doing amazing and that they are really, really proud of him or and really excited to see what he will he do. Some people have some doubts in the last part since it's 1v1 battles, but eh, what can you do? Haters, am I right? Regardless of which, Izuku go into the arena for his first match against none other than the student from the general course, Shinso. But before Midoriya even met Shinso and tried to go after him, he met a student from the hero course. As Izuku, when he saw him, he said, uh, you're not here because you're angry that I beat at your friend, right? As the guy said, oh, no, not at all. I'm just here to warn you about something. As Izuku said, warn me? And he said, oh, sorry, I didn't s introduce myself. My name is U my name is Ojiro from the hero course. Nice meeting you. As Izuku just is surprised. This guy is quite polite compared to Bakugo, to be honest. It's really... Izuku really didn't think of the whole class like this, but he thought of most of them like Bakugo. I mean, if Todoroki is like Bakugo, what do you expect from the rest of the class? Regardless, Izuku is surprised by his uh, kindness, which he appreciated, and he acted as kind with him. Ujiro, first of all, he started complimenting Midori on his great skills, and asked how he did it in the first place, how did he feed it to Doroki, as Izuku said, eh, it's just simple hand movements, it's about, you know, <clears throat> all, it's all about your hands, I just managed to grab them quickly from his head before he, you know, re re realize anything, although it was a bit close, as Ujiro said, well, I guess so. Regardless, I want to tell you something about that person that you're going to face. Shinso, from the general course. His quirk is weird. I don't know what does he do, but if he asks you a question, please don't answer. As Izuku said, oh, alright, thanks for the advice. As Ujiro after that said, yeah, just make sure not to talk to him. Oh, and also, I have one other thing to ask from you. This may sound uh, really, you know, really wrong or very not heroic from me, but beat him for me, will you? Midoriya? As Izuku said, yeah, sure. As Izuku just uh, fist pumps him. And he also asks about Bako's situation. Why is Bako seem to be, well, caring about Midoriya a lot, or at least <laughs> trying to talk to Midoriya a lot, as Izuku said, uh, he was just a student in my old middle school, we have some history, but their conversation was cut short because <clears throat> immediately Izuku being called into the arena by present Mike, immediately after which Izuku enters the arena with Shinso, as Shinso looking into Midoriya, as he said, <laughs> to be honest, I'm quite impressed by what, by what you did. You're, you are quirkless, and yet you're doing all of this. How amazing. As Izuku was about to talk, but he didn't fall into that trap. So, immediately, Shinso start talking to Midoriya, says, Present Mike says, 3, 2, 1, GO! As, after which, he start talking to Midoriya, saying, <laughs> Never thought that a student from the support course would come this far. Not only that, you're quirkless too. <laughs> Man, you're really something else, aren't you? As Izuku is wondering what the hell is he talking about, which Shinso said, I think uh, that that Ujiro already told you what my quirk is, didn't he? The tail guy? Well, since you already know, let me tell you this. My quirk is brainwash. You already know that since he told you, didn't he? I can brainwash people and force them to do whatever I say. If that's if they answer my question, that is. Hence, it doesn't seem like you're answering me. So, for most of my life, I was being called a villain for my quirk. I always thought that I have a trough, but you? You're quirkless. How are you doing all of this? What, what are you doing? As 
Izuku doesn't care about the conversation with Shinso, although Shinso is really fascinated by Midoriya wanting to know. How does it feel to be quirkless? I mean, being called a villain for having a villainous quirk is one thing, but being quirkless altogether? That is something else. That he's really surprised by it. Regardless of which, Izuku was about to attack Shinso, but Shinso just walked out of the arena. Didn't even put on a fight. He, do he knows that if this kid can beat up Sh Todoroki, how, what chance did he, does he have without his quirk? After all, he can't even talk to him. Or at least Midoriya won't answer him. When Midnight uh, declared the winner being Midoriya, Izuku gave his hand to help Sh Shinso stand up. As he said, you're good. You just need to train your body a bit more. As Shinso just taking Midoriya's hand and standing up saying, <laughs> thanks. As he just walking away. Oh, and Shinso speak up in his ear saying, I know this may sound weird, but if it's possible, can you win this? As Izuku said, I'll try. As that's what happened. Shinso going away since he's the lost and uh, Izuku going into the resting room. And right now, President Mike is just talking with Aizawa saying, this student, this, you know, student from the support course is really putting his back into it. Don't you think, Aizawa? He didn't even use any gadgets for that match. As Aizawa said, yeah, he, he didn't. Maybe he's just trying to reserve them for the matches where he'll gonna really need them. As President Mike said, well, isn't that a smart tactic? But... Would you know what is better than a fist fight? A quirk fight! So let's skip into the next match being Bak Bakugo Katsuki against Ochaka Uraka. As after which that uh, thing starts. And on the other side, Izuku just watching the sport uh, festival going by. Eventually, Mei's turn comes and she's getting excited. Since Ida was on Todoroki's team and Todoroki lost that. She goes another uh, uh, random character number 707. Regardless, she managed, well, to show her off her babies and eventually she just walked out of the arena because that's what she want. After which, Izuku's turn comes. And since Doroki have already lost in the cavalry battle, Izuku will be put, put up against his own enemy that was against him in the normal show being... Sarah from the support course, I mean the hero course too. As immediately, present Mike is getting excited to, to see that. This is actually the first time they see this quirkless kid that is so far doing miraculously against an actual student from the hero course that's 1v1. As Cyril right now stretching his body saying, <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't, you know, I won't go hard on ya, but that is not very polite out of me, so... As when President Mike started uh, saying go, immediately Sarah shooting a tape into Midoriya, which Izuku uh, returns by throwing one of his uh, flash grenades into, well, Sarah to blind him a bit. As Sarah said, oh. as he looking left and right, he doesn't see Midoriya anywhere, but suddenly Izuku behind of him, he just uh, pushes him into the ground, grabbing his hand and put it behind his back. As Sarah immediately shooting out of his elbow a uh, tape into Midoriya that sticks into his arm as he tried to wrap him in the rest of the tape but immediately Izuku just pulling Sarah towards him using the tape while Sarah is surprised by how physically strong is Midoriya as he said man this kid has been training a lot as he trying to pull him back but Midoriya managed to pull him in close enough immediately he throws one of his grenades which is the smoke one into the ground, which blinded the uh, Sarah. And right now, he just seeing his tape being pulled closer and closer as he shoot it in the direction where his Midoriya is still pulling him. But when he shot it, he doesn't feel that his, you know, tape hit anything. And right now, immediately, Izuku just coming closer, surprising Sarah before throwing a punch into his face, pushing him into the ground before grabbing his own tape and wrapping it around him. The disrespect! As when the smoke clears, they just see Midoriya sitting on the top of Sarah while Sarah is being all tied up inside the, his own, well, tape. As President Mike said, 
a Zuckerman Daria wins! The disrespect, he just tied him up with his own... God damn it! Dave! Man! Aizawa, you need to train those kids a bit more harder, don't you think? As Aizawa said... Whatever. Regardless, as immediately. Midnight is really getting excited over this. The quirkless kid managed to... Well, win the second match. As present Mike just... Well, dismisses the match. After which, he looked into Aizawa saying, Aizawa, do you understand that this is the first time that a student out of the support, you know, out of the hero course managed to come this far? Not only that, he's a quirkless child. <laughs> well, what do you say? Right now, he's in the finales. So, who do you, what do you say, folks? Well, today we might actually see history comes alive. We might actually see the first quirkless person to ever be win the sports festival, as I also don't, uh, you know, can well count on it. His uh, last opponent is Bakugo. Before he had, uh, well, his opponents weren't that dangerous. Yes, Todoroki was dangerous, but he was, well, wasn't ready for what Midori was going to do. And Sero is not that good. Regardless, Bakugo on the other hand, he's not gonna lose so easily. As President Mike said, Ooh, I'm sure this will be a really amazing fight. <laughs> this will gonna prove that quirks aren't everything, am I right? As he said, well, what's the matter? Let's just start this already. I'm losing my mind over here. As immediately, Izuku enters their ring with Bakugo, which... After that, Izuku said, Alright, here it is, Bakugo. As Izuku is having a couple left uh, of his, uh, well, smoke grenades and a flash grenade too. He only have two though. One smoke and one, well, flash. His Bak cracks his finger saying, I'm gonna beat you up for this. You think you're so amazing and cool because you managed to come this far. But, uh, unlike those idiots, I know how to deal with you. As Izuku said, how about you stop talking and actually attack me already? Or what, scared that you might lose like the rest? As Bog getting angry saying, oh, I'm gonna make you eat those words. As immediately present Mike said, three, two, one, go. And this is what I'm gonna leave it off guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you think about this part and what do you think about this? Uh, what's gonna happen in the next part? And I know that was a jerk move, but who cares, bye.